Hey, what is going on guys? So I just wanted to bring you guys another update for my baby account, Boylon89. As you can see, we're almost level 42. Now I am recording this on uh, Monday, this particular uh, recording is on Monday, and I've made quite a bit of progress lately and that's why I wanted to bring this update to you guys. So let's start off in my roster and I can kind of share with you what I'm talking about. So at the top, what do we have? We have Silver Surfer even higher than we did before and we finally managed to unlock Kestrel. Now I put as much gear as I possibly can and we're actually just once we get level 42 I can craft this and we can get to tier 8 which I know doesn't sound crazy but for this part of the game you know at this point it is pretty good and the only unfortunate side effects is that I don't have any red stars because I did start after the focus period you know both for Silver Surfer and for Kestrel and we do know that Silver Surfer is not in the red stars yet and not that I have any silver promo creds anyways uh, but I won't have any way of getting red stars on him but I guess the point could be argued that my competitors who I might be coming up against you know aren't gonna have red stars either so hopefully uh, that's less of an issue um, but yeah so we have silver surfer Kestrel this is carrying me through the heroes campaign and the Nexus campaign. I do have everyone else sort of leveled up to 41 as well. We did unlock Thor as well since the last update, so that's helped me a little bit, but he is Mystic Gear, so he is a bit further behind than uh, Silver Surfer, because Silver Surfer definitely gets all my gear, and so does Kestrel. So any skill, tech, or Mystic is going to be going towards these two characters. Um, I'm pretty sure I had Electro unlocked the last time, but if I didn't, I am using Electro as well in the Villains campaign, and she's actually working out pretty well. Uh, she's getting a bit of my bio gear as well. The chain lightning is really, really nice. Uh, not only is this piercing damage, but the offense down is surprisingly good because of the fact that uh, she's a blaster and not many blasters do debuffs. So this is actually really nice in the villains campaign. Uh, we did drop a couple of people though. So for my heroes, we're using Silver Surfer, Kestrel, Punisher, Hawkeye, and Thor. I think I, I don't. I think I don't think I really use Wolverine anymore. But I'm not entirely sure. I'm still leveling them up because I'm trying to widen my teams up a little bit for Blitz. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. I did unlock Mordo. Uh, he is kind of put into my villains team as well. So my top five villain characters, I think at this point, Electro, uh, Mordo, Rhino, Shocker still, sadly, and Mysterio. I recently unlocked Mysterio. So those are the five that I'm running. Most of these are Sinister Six. So Mysterio, Electro, Shocker, and Rhino. So that's four Sinister Six there and Mordo. Uh, I dumped Electra Crossbones, don't need to use them anymore. Luke Cage, also I don't really need to use him anymore for um, the Heroes campaign. And I have unlocked a handful of other characters along the way. Nothing anything too stellar, we got Shield Trooper, Drax, Shield Security, Merc Soldier, America Chavez, Thing, all random stuff from the Blitz store and the Raze store and just random premium orb drops. Uh, but nothing stellar. But, you know, Kestrel and Silver Surfer, huge deal. Uh, one thing I do want to say, though, is I'm out of blue ability materials. No surprise there, guys, because I'm sure you guys know all about the crunch. If you're a mid-game player, earlier mid-game player, this is a huge problem. It is the crunch for blue ability material. Now, I'm not going to be going on too much about this here in this video, but I will be doing another video, if it hasn't already been released at this point, uh, about blue ability material and specifically what needs to be done about this for mid-game players because I don't think it's uh, it's coming in fast enough for a lot of players and the reason by, again I'm not gonna really talk about this but the, the real reason about behind this is Ultima 7 so a lot of people who do skip ahead for Ultima 7 there's no blue ability material anywhere in Ultima 7 so if you skipped Ultima 6 because for me I'm actually getting carried and thank you I apparently I have some more raid season rewards to claim uh, you know and that's really nice and thank you to them for helping me do this and helping me collect raid credits but I am skipping on the blue ability material and that's a huge problem in the early and mid game because if I want to gear up my uh, my ability then I need to get that and that's a bit of a problem but in arena I'm slowly working my way down so my defense team did I put Kestrel I did put Kestrel uh, so this is my current arena defense I do like Electro because of the offense down uh, Thor and Hawkeye unfortunately it doesn't actually build Thor's charges all that much I, I don't know maybe I need a I don't like Cap, so I don't know, maybe I would put Hulk in there instead, because I think the Hulk is slow, and he's more likely to taunt longer, I'm not too sure. Anyways, it doesn't really matter too much about defense anyways, it matters about offense. So, even though I'm only at 1189, I started at like 5000, so I've been able to punch my way down slowly, and actually I can punch up above my power probably about 10,000, because Kestrel and Silver Surfer carries quite a bit of the fight, so we are working our way down in the arena ranking, and that's really nice, I, you know. 
know, I'm doing pretty good. Since I'm under 1500, that means I'm in the next bracket here, uh, which gives me 60 power cores. Yeah, I know it's not a crazy ton amount, but hey, you know, I'll take it. And I think I should be able to punch down a bit quicker pretty soon coming up. If I can get a luck, and we actually, oh, we... We unlocked uh, Red Star Orbs recently, but I am not pulling them currently. So my plans for Red Star Orbs for my baby account, I think, is going to be that I'm only going to pull Red Stars for new characters that are campaign event characters on the patch, because I don't think I'm very likely, A, either to unlock characters that are through Blitz, or I'm not going to get very many shards from them. So I think the most likely outcome is that I'll get higher shards for possibly event characters. You know, if you do milestone event characters, that might happen. Uh, but otherwise, just camp the month, uh, the patchly that's not even a word, patchly uh, campaign event characters, you know, like multiple man or kestrel, things like that. You know, that's where I'll probably spend my red star orbs. Uh, but other than that, that's what I'll be doing. And uh, I do have Blitz Unlocked, Raid, Arena. I do not have the Silver... I don't even know if I can get Silver Promotion credits because that unlocks at 42, which is very soon. But I don't have the Alliance Donation opened up until 50. So that's when I get the Silver Promos daily. So it doesn't really matter too much there. Uh, War will unlock at 45. I don't remember what level Isotopes open up at uh but war is at 45 so hopefully i can start collecting some war credits and i can start going to unlock minerva because i think that's probably the next step for me in what i want to do for that and for blitzes we're actually not doing too bad uh we did manage to clear all of the milestones for the orb assault blitz uh here which is ending pretty soon but this did cap out at 100k so that's where i finished it here the the, the baby uh shard does cap out at 300k in the character milestones rather than 750 which is for the veteran shard and i came very close to clearing that so hopefully uh we have the scientist supreme blitz starting here today on the monday and i'll try and work to finishing the 300k on that if i can uh but we are still having to manual blitz until level what 60 i think it is when that unlocks so that's a little bit time away from that which is a bit of a pain in the ass admittedly because manual blitzing does take time away from me doing other things and i don't quite enjoy doing that but that's another thing to talk about another time uh in terms of kestrel event we've actually cleared most of easy we have very few things left to do on easy mode but we don't unlock medium until level 43 i will probably get this before the end of the event but i don't know if i'll be able to get like a three star kestrel still 55 shards i don't think that really looks likely because i don't have access to hard mode uh but it doesn't really matter you know i'm glad that we unlock kestrel so it is possible to clear that uh, i will show you guys the milestone and that was what made the hugest difference the earn your wings milestone so i managed to get the 15 shards so far out of this i don't think i'm going to get the extra five shards sadly i'm not going to get the free red stars i highly doubt this because i would need to open another um uh it's 14 orbs i've opened six so I, I need to open another eight orbs i don't think that's likely unless i spend which i'm not going to do so uh yeah that doesn't look likely and that's a bit unfortunate because this would be the easiest way for me to get red stars for kestrel uh, even for the two stars that i do have but yeah i don't think that's happening so i just wanted to give you guys this update here i'm not going to get the nick fury costume i don't even have nick fury anyway so that's not happening with the gold flash bits here uh on this account uh but yeah we're doing not too bad so far so I'm, I'm quite pleased with the progress that we've managed to do, and hopefully uh, when I unlock e medium, I honestly don't even know, do I have Voyager? Yeah, I have two Voyager characters. I'm not sure what I'm going to do here, because uh, this is something that I talked about in my live stream. <laughs> I don't know who the best choice out of all of these characters that I even have unlocked. Maybe we can get Wasp, <laughs> and four shards away from Wasp, so we'll see. Anyways, uh, that's the end of this update, guys. I'll bring you another one soon. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys later. Hey, what is going on, everyone? So I just wanted to give a final uh, baby account update here with my Boylan89 account. Uh, this is on Wednesday, so this is going to be the final day before I release, obviously, week two of Throwback Thursday, which will be uh, coming out tomorrow. But so we are at level 44. We're halfway to level 45. What's changed? Well, first off, I want to kind of show off my roster and what I have so far. So we do have Silver Surfer and Kestrel. This is the biggest difference that has been made in my account, especially Kestrel, but Silver Surfer obviously as well. We did get her unlocked, and actually we might be able to get to three star by the end of the event. So uh, we did get her to both of them, really, Silver Surfer and Kestrel to tier eight 
four 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 three this is actually mostly through the blue ability material range here and same with kestrel uh, i do need level 45 for this one here for the next basic which i do plan on getting first on kestrel before silver server because i think this always apply defense down is going to be really important but in terms of the rest of my roster here these are the characters that i've been working on i've been mostly working <laughs> I have Punisher still. Uh, Electro, Rhino, basically this top shelf here. I did unlock Polaris, and actually I'm finding her very, very useful uh, alongside Kestrel because she pulls everyone together, and that's crazy in uh, in Arena when she pulls everyone together and Kestrel's special just runs right through all of them. And it's crazy how much damage that it does. I wish I had some footage of that to kind of put into the video here, but I don't. Maybe for next time. I'm really brocking it in Arena, and we'll get to that too. So Polaris actually by herself isn't too bad she's also a voyager character this is quite important to note for early game players here for the kestrel campaign uh we did get a four red thor so we did actually unlock red stars now i pulled like 10 or 15 orbs i didn't really get that much but in terms of characters that i do have i did get a four red thor uh, i got a four red luke cage which is the upgrade over the three that you get for free i got a three red ronin on some other characters i've unlocked now so you can kind of see uh my roster this you know i'm not really gearing up most of these but you can see that i've unlocked I don't know how many is that 30 something characters already so nothing too crazy you know I did unlock swarm through the arena store Ronin was just through random raid orbs and I think I might have got a premium orb for him as well we did get Mysterio unlocked we don't have Baron Zemo yet I think we are uh, it's probably quicker just to go uh, buy oh, there we go there's Zemo I got a one red Zemo actually uh, but he's 50 out of 100, so I got a little bit more ways to go, but that's on the agenda. And also Minerva, she is on the login calendar, so hopefully I'll be able to unlock her for free, and that will help too, both for the Villains campaign and possibly the Cosmic campaign coming up soon. So in Arena, I wanted to point out here, I'm at rank 501. Now this is pretty good, considering I started at 6,000 when Arena first kicked off at level 30, I think. And this is my offensive team. Now, the reason why I have these characters, Kestrel and Silver Surfer, is pretty obvious. Uh, Electro's pretty fast, and she actually applies offense down to the enemy for one turn. Only for one turn, uh, for now, but I mean, I still find that very helpful. Hawkeye's pretty fast, he can clear uh, and do uh, blinds, and Polaris, like I said, brings them together. So that Silver Surfer special, and Kestrel special just, like, rips through all of them. So what's interesting is I'm going up against teams that are, like, 60, 70k, and I'm still winning at 32k. It's crazy how much value that Kestrel and Silver Surfer have in Arena, but just in, in general in the game. You know, I'm, I'm wrecking these random teams, you know, because Silver Surfer and Kestrel are that powerful. So, you know, guys, if you are in that early and mid game and you've unlocked Kestrel and you happen to have Silver Surfer from the April Strike Pass or, or you spent a little bit to get them unlocked, you know, you're going to get a crazy amount of value over those two characters. So make sure that you're gearing them up as much as you can. Now... In terms of the Kestrel event, we have uh, three days left, uh, but I did manage to unlock medium difficulty at level 43, and I actually cleared the entire campaign at level 43. So all it took, I don't know, can I can I actually open any of them? Uh, I'm not going to spend any energy anyway. So all I used for this for this whole medium campaign, Silver Surfer, Kestrel. I don't know why I go this way. One, two, Silver Surfer, Kestrel, and Polaris. So these three characters is all that I used to get the medium difficulty cleared. Now, why why those three? I, I didn't want to use more than three because in order to three-star, you can't lose any characters, right? So if I were to use five characters and any of them died throughout the match, I wouldn't get three-star. So I use Polaris because a lot of her attacks actually give her self-barrier. So I, I have her high enough that she'll survive the battle. Even if she doesn't necessarily contribute too much, it doesn't really matter because Kestrel and Silver Surfer carry the battle and there's actually an NPC Kestrel, so you're getting double the amounts of pings from both Kestrels. It's crazy. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I have any any footage of that necessarily. I might be able to pull it from the from my um, live stream, but it, it, it's damn it. Um, I'm gonna just do the basic. I don't. Oh, oh, there's two Kestrels. <laughs> Which Kestrel is this? This is this is the NPC one. Oh shit, I forgot about that. Okay. Wow. Alright, so let's drag them together a bit. I don't know which one's mine and which one's the... I can't tell. Ooh, 
Look at those pings. The double Kestrel pings. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> uh... Look at the pings. We're gonna get two pings. One, two. Oh my god. It's so much damage. Two more pings. One, two. <laughs> We're gonna get a ping here too. Ping. Oh my god, it's just so much damage, guys! With the NPC? Ping. One, two. Ping. <laughs> Holy shit! We just. It's just so much damage with that NPC. Wow. <laughs> We just need Polaris to stay alive, because if she dies, then we lose the three star. That was really impressive. It's really crazy how good it is. So I, I cleared out the, the, the entire medium campaign. Uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I actually managed to get the three star, three red Kestrel from the fabric of not fabric the earn your wings so i need to open up five more orbs in three days now i'm gonna core the crap out of this and hope that i can get those because if i can pick up that three red kestrel uh to go alongside my kestrel whether or not i actually get three yellow doesn't really matter but even if i can just get a couple of red stars on her it will make a crazy amount of difference in this early game for her so yeah kestrel 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 and, and silver server of course both really good uh but it's crazy how much amount of difference it is made now in terms of my uh, my blitzing you know actually I'm, I'm pretty close to being able to cap the early beginner blitz at 350k there's still a day left and i think that's going to be no problem going into the colleen wing blitz uh which should be today when you guys watch the video on thursday uh i should be able to compete in that a little bit so that'll be interesting i have like five blitz teams it's not a lot i'm kind of using my main three blitz teams here for score actually so these are my top characters but uh in terms of uh campaigns where am i at heroes six nine actually we're right at the end here because this is the last one before the level 70 campaign so we can't do this until level 70 so that's pretty good uh but i'm, I'm stuck on that one villains where are we at we're a bit further behind here we're at five five and we didn't actually three star some of these because i'm mostly using sinister six i think i'm gonna hold out and wait a bit until we get uh baron zemo unlocked i think that'll make a significant amount of difference and then in nexus we're at uh three nine this is the vision one we still have a little ways to go on this i might be able to push a little bit further i think we can actually i think that's what i'll do with some of my energy later on so i'll see if i can get some further progress there but all in all you know considering i've only started this uh i don't know what are we on like maybe 10 days or so into the account and we've made a significant amount of progress so really happy with that guys thanks for watching my throwback thursday week two and yeah uh, wait until next thursday and we'll see by week three what kind of progress we've made and uh, how much further and what level I, I managed to end up getting. So crazy, crazy experiment here, guys. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. And, and you know, if you and let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about my progress. You know, if any of you guys are kind of newer players, let me know if there's anything you would like to see about this as well in this throwback Thursday or this baby account sort of uh, update sort of video series. And I'll be more than happy to try and include that for you all. So thanks for watching, guys. And of course, until next time, stay safe and I'll see you all later. Boil on signing out.